Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of the Creative Smoothie. Listen, today I have something pretty exciting for you guys. And it's as a result of a constant conversation that I keep hearing and a constant question that I keep receiving from coaches, creatives, and other people who are starting out uh, with marketing themselves, promoting themselves, or who are also more seasoned and just want to upgrade their marketing services. And the question is the following. Vlad, where do I start with my marketing efforts? There are a thousand different things that you can do, right? Uh, choose a brand, your colors, uh, your offer, your problem, your avatar, your social media, your website. Like, what is the first thing that you should execute on, right? And I am here to tell you that there is one thing that you have to get down before anything else in order to make sure that everything is cohesive and that everything speaks to the same theme, to the same main mission that you have, okay? And that is your offer. In order to start strong, you have to start with a simple, clear, and targeted offer. There's so many times where I receive questions about marketing executions, like, hey, should I do email marketing? And what about ads? Have you thought about retargeting ads? And um, what about this landing page? Should I include a quiz? Or All of those questions are really good executional and tactical questions, but they omit the fact that the strategy might stink in the first place. And before you can start on anything strategy, you need to have an offer. And what do I mean by an offer? Your offer of value, whatever you have to bring to the world, whatever you're selling or or giving or creating for people to enjoy or benefit from. And many times I receive, like I said, specific questions when in when in fact, the person needs to start with having a better offer. And it's not only applying to those people who have something to sell. It's those people that are content creators too, right? You're still offering something of value through your content. It applies to coaches. It applies to freelancers. It applies to creatives. And so here I am today telling you that the offer statement is the number one thing you need to get down before anything else. And I'll tell you this. Most coaches that you're going to pay are going to charge out of your nose just so you can narrow down on that offer. Are they overcharging? No, because defining a clear offer is one of the most important things and also something that we all struggle with because many times it requires an outside person to see something that you don't see. Many times you're trying to narrow down on your offer and you're like, I'm almost there. I almost feel like I have it. Like I almost feel like I can explain what I want to offer to the world. But until you cannot explain that clearly, then there is no, um, well, you have less chances of getting the clients that you want to get, let's say. And that's why coaches charge two, five, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for programs that begin with identifying your offer. So there is a shortcut and there is a little formula that you can use to start on developing your own formula, I mean, your own offer of value. And that formula is I help X achieve Y through Z or I help X achieve Y without Z. Um, Z can either be a process in the first instance or in the second instance, it can be an obstacle, right? So I create content for um, full-time travelers that want to travel cheap, right? Or I teach full-time travelers how to travel cheap in Europe. That's a, that's a good offer or I teach full-time travelers how to travel cheap without compromising quality. That's the second type of offer that you can have, right? So these are good offer statements. And I help X. X is the person that you're trying to help. Many times we call that person an avatar. And before you sit down and write your your offer, um, I'll actually encourage you to do a little bit of research on who you want to target. Don't narrow yourself yet, but have a little, have a, have a vision of who you want to help, right? Not just, so if you're helping out, for example, uh, social media creators, okay, what type of creator? Any industry or a particular industry? What age? How many followers do they have? Right, so start thinking about your avatar a little bit, but I help X is I help a certain kind of person that you're gonna define. Then achieve Y, that's the result. I help X achieve Y. Y is the result that you're helping them achieve or the problem that you're helping them avoid or whatever it is that you're taking them 
that's what y is. And then through z, z is a process. Okay, in this, in the first case, I help x achieve y through z. Z is a process or a method or a framework or some ideology that you teach. That is what z is. You don't have to always include it, right? If it's not easily explainable in a word or two, but I do include it every once in a while to help um, strengthen my value offer and to make it more specific. Now, the other one that I said is I help X achieve Y without Z is X is the person we're going to uh, help. Y is the result that we're going to help them achieve. And without Z, Z in this case is a particular pain point that comes up a lot in the journey of the user. So many times, um, you know, we think that to hire somebody that does our advertising would cost us, you know, maybe one, two, three, five thousand dollars. And somebody that would offer lower fee advertising services would probably have an offer like I help entrepreneurs advertise on Instagram without spending more than five hundred dollars a month. For example, that is a good offer statement because you know exactly what you're going to receive. You know exactly if you're the person that's being targeted or not. And you know already that you won't have to invest more than five hundred dollars in ads every month if you learn how to use this guy's methods or if you work with this guy or that's or this gal. So that is a, so a few examples of strong offer statements. My current offer statement is, and I hope I don't mess this up, is I help coaches grow and build and grow their businesses using the power of conscious marketing and automation. So I help coaches build and grow their businesses using the power of conscious marketing and automation. So I don't, I'm not saying that as of now, this offer is incredible, but I think you can understand exactly who I'm helping and how I'm going to help them. And because I have a double offer means I help them through conscious marketing and automation. It also means that I help two types of coaches, right? But I can go that into, into detail later. There's some uh, crazy offer statements out there that I've read that are like a paragraph long. You don't want to do that either. You want to keep it simple. You want to keep it short. If you can explain it to a five-year-old, you've got it. Okay. If you can explain a five-year-old what your offer is, you have one. So before you jump into thinking, uh, should I post more content? Should I create a logo? Should I create a website? Define your offer first, because guess what? Once you have that offer, you're going to know a lot more about who you're going to help, where those people hang out, what those people need to see, what kind of content they're going to need, um, the way you're going to talk to them, the copy that's going to go on the landing page. I'm telling you, once you focus in on your offer, everything else comes a lot easier, including your marketing efforts. So start with your offer. And if you have any doubts at all, I am here for you. Text me, email me, uh, drop a comment and I'll be here to help you with your value offer. Okay, guys, if you like this podcast, uh, you might know that I don't run any ads for the podcast or on the podcast. And so if you like this, the only thing I'm asking of you as payment is either a rating or a follow or the most important is just share the word with your friends. Word of mouth advertising is my favorite advertising because it is not intrusive, it is organic, and it is pure. And if you believe that you've gotten something of value from this podcast and the next time you with your friends and um, the topic of podcast comes up, just recommend Creative Smoothie to them if they're creatives, if they're entrepreneurs, if they're coaches, right? If they're having a coaching business, I think they're going to benefit from this podcast. So that's it. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. Start acting on this. Don't just listen to this podcast and forget about it. Take a piece of paper and start writing your offer value formula, which is I help X achieve Y through Z or I achieve X with I achieve. Sorry, I help Y. (laughs) I ruined the entire episode at the end. I help X achieve Y through Z or I help X achieve Y without Z. Guys, this is raw, unedited content. And um, it's just another one of my efforts of being as conscious as I can about my my work and not over edit anything. You guys will forgive my little mistakes, but I hope you have an incredible day ahead. Take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next episode of Creative Smoothie.